PD. Well, this Tampa woman never made it home from her walk after she was hit and killed by a man driving on a suspended license. The driver did stop, but only apparently to help himself. That was over a year ago, but as Fox 13's Gloria Gomez explains, the driver is now headed to prison without giving the victim's family what they asked for. Do you swear or affirm the testimony that you're about to give will be the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Yes, sir. The collision involved a vehicle versus pedestrian that resulted in one fatality. Can you state your name, please? Jeremiah Jimerson. How do you want to play? Guilty. I just wanted to know why. From here. Understand. No, understand. The family of Shonda Renee Gant is still seeking answers from Jeremiah Jimerson, the man responsible for her death. I just want to ask him why he couldn't call 911 or someone to help her, not just leave her there. She probably could still be here today. Jimerson is pleading guilty to leaving the scene of a crash involving death and driving with a suspended license. He's going away for six years. Prosecutors say in December of 2019, Gant was crossing the street on North Nebraska Avenue when Jimerson hit her. He stopped, but surprisingly, not to help her. The defendant then walked around the crash scene and collected damaged pieces of the vehicle and put them inside the vehicle. He then took off. A tipster later led to his arrest. Gant died of her injuries. Is there anything else that you'd like to say here today um, upon entry of your plate? No, sir. Leaving her family with a lifetime of pain and no answers. Gloria Gomez, Fox 13 News. So, hey. And as part of that deal agreement, Jimerson will also serve 60 months probation, which includes volunteering at a trauma hospital that treats car crash victims.